At school, I was the kind of student that people hated. Not for any malicious reason or anything like that, but more because I was the kind of guy that could get away with very, very minimal studying. While other people would spend weeks and months and all this time revising, I would usually get away with maybe studying the night before, the morning of the exam, a few hours before the exam, and I would simply just get better grades than these people. Even if they came to the exam with, you know, the classic, all, all million highlighter colours that there are, and just all these notes, I would still just get better grades than them by basically doing nothing. I would just understand the topics better for whatever reason. Because of this, I graduated school with very, very good grades and went to one of the best universities in the country to study physics. But it was at university where I realised that my natural talent wouldn't last much longer. You see, at university, everyone there was the best at their school. Everyone there got A stars. Everyone there was a very clever person and an absolute whiz at physics. And I realised that I couldn't rely on my natural talent anymore. I had to put in work, I had to study, and I had to sit down in the library and just read books and go through questions for hours and hours, something that I'd literally never done ever before in my life. And it was because of this, the fact that I'd never had a system in place to actually study for an exam, that I did very, very poorly in my first year of university. I just about managed to scrape a pass and yeah, I, I felt very, very ashamed and my confidence took a, a huge knock because of this. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth am I telling you all of this, right? It seems a bit strange. But it was because that summer I started playing chess. I'd played it a bit as a child, but, you know, as I grew older, I stopped playing it as other commitments came in. But picking it up again that summer, I actually became so engrossed in chess. I just played so much and I started studying all these different lines. Um, I started following Bobby Fish's games. I've got, you know, two of his books. Um, well, he only wrote two books. I've got both of them. And I started going over lines and games and even spending hours and hours just studying chess positions, which for someone like me who had never studied for anything in their life before was very, very strange. This was something I'd never experienced before. I'd never experienced reward for hard work. I'd always just done the bare minimum and gotten away with it. But now I was putting in work for chess and I found that my rating improved as a direct result of that. Of course it does. It seems obvious now that putting in work and actually studying makes you better at something. But back then it was, I don't know, it, it was a mystery to me. I, I didn't realise that, oh, I've actually got to do some work if I want to get better at something. And it was chess that taught me this. It was chess that taught me that sitting and studying and you know, overcoming procrastination, being productive was just part of improving. Over the previous year, my confidence had taken quite a beating, but just realising that I was once again quite good at something meant that my confidence increased as a direct result of my chess playing. I got over 2,000 rated, which, you know, all the time when I was with some friends and just playing chess. You'd be surprised, by the way, how many pubs just have a random chess board that you can just play with your mates. But I would just beat my friends without looking at the board sometimes, just completely blindfolded. And that they would find that amazing. And it was only because I was putting so much time into playing chess that this happened. Going into my second year of university, I realised something had to change from the first. But in fact, it already had. Just the ability to sit down and study chess was directly transferable to me sitting down and studying my physics. And I'd learned that in order to sit down and studying something, the only thing that was different between chess and physics was the fact that I was making learning chess enjoyable and physics to me just wasn't enjoyable. And so I was able to make that switch and start making learning physics enjoyable. And because of this, my grades got a direct increase. And because of this, my confidence had a massive increase as well. I've since looked into this and many people have experienced the exact same thing. Chess increases grey matter in the brain, which helps with memory, emotions, decision making, and even stuff like performance in the gym through better control through your muscles. Side note, getting huge. Anyway, as I was saying, my second year of university went so much better than the first. And that was, I think, directly because of chess. And the reason I'm making this video is because I just wanted to spread the message of how positive chess can be. 
for many reasons. It can give you a social aspect of reason to play with friends, etc. It's got many benefits of increased grey matter, like I mentioned. Many benefits of just ev- everyone knows the benefits of playing a game like chess, right? But I was able to transfer the skills of studying chess to studying university and even stuff like making YouTube videos like this. I wouldn't, I know for a fact I wouldn't have been able to do a few years ago. I wouldn't have, you know, had motivation to do stuff like this. And so I just wanted to make this video to encourage you guys to start playing chess because it's, it's definitely changed my life already. And I'm going to, you know, keep doing it. And even if it didn't have all of these lists of benefits that, again, everyone knows about, it's fun. It's a very fun thing to do, and I've made many, many friends um, just through playing chess with them. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I also want to quick shout out to my one-to-one coaching. If you want, you know, um, personalized training plans, custom lessons, you know, just lessons of chess, how to get better with chess, check out the top link in the description. You can also find my Instagram and other bits and bobs. Yes. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.